So, uh, we're gonna do Battle Storm Galactica. Yeah. By the way, uh, I'm a Cylon. What? Don't worry, I've got a plan. Really? No. With the impending arrival of the prequel series to Battlestar Galactica, Blood and Chrome, you might need a geek crash course on what to expect from the new show. Now, we're not going to do an overall on Battlestar or Caprica. This is more of a general what you need to know for Blood and Chrome. is set between Battlestar Galactica and Caprica during the Deadly Cylon War. It stars a younger Bill Adama, who's older than when we last saw him as a toddler in Caprica, but younger than when we first met him in Battlestar Galactica. He's a wannabe Viper pilot who's going to earn his call sign, Husker. The show also takes place on Battlestar Galactica with a lot of the action concerning another Battlestar, the Valkyrie. Adama will one day be the commander of both of these battle stars, the Valkyrie first, and then the Galactica. The sleek and agile Viper and boxy, functional Raptor will also play a big part in the goings-on of the war. The Cylon number 6 is named for the lead character of the classic British TV series, The Prisoner. The Cylons were created by man, specifically Greystone Industries. This was detailed in Caprica. They rebelled against humanity, and in Battlestar Galactica, we were introduced to 12 models who looked just like humans and who would resurrect in these gooey tubs of stuff when they were killed. During the war, though, they're, the Cylons really only came in two main flavors. They're the Centurions, who are humanoid metal warriors, who are called the Toasters. Ding! Because they look like big, kind of chrome toasters. And then there were the Raiders, which are fighter planes. Sometimes they were piloted, sometimes not so much. Blood and Chrome is going to be introducing some new models and some new versions to the basic Cylon frame, but what we find out, uh, you'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, they'll all have the crazy red glowing eye thing that made them the iconic villains of classic sci-fi. Battlestar Galactica and Caprica both feature people from the Twelve Colonies, which are twelve different planets settled by a common culture from a planet called Kobol. Each of the worlds features a unique culture. For example, Caprica is a big city. The whole planet is basically a big city. It's very modern and urban. Toron is more farming and agriculture driven. The people on Toron are reviled as dirt eaters by the higher classes. Scorpia is a big shipbuilding planet, basically a bunch of shipyards, but not floating on water ships, spaceships, because it's a space. Other colonies include Virgon, Sagittaron, Aralon, Aquaria, Canceron, Geminon, Leonis, Libron, and Pycon. Battlestar Galactica centered around the search for the long-lost 13th colony of Earth. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Tension between the different cultures and societies was a big part of both Galactica and the prequel Caprica. Expect a little bit of this in the background of Blood and Chrome, as it's a more action-focused offering. The derogatory term for the humanoid Cylons, skin jobs, refers to sci-fi classic film Blade Runner, which also starred Battlestar Galactica's own Admiral Adama, Edward James Olmos. Homework! Watch the Battlestar Galactica miniseries. It's a great window into the Cylons and the world of Galactica. Avoid Battlestar Galactica The Plan. This movie came out after the series ended, but takes place during the miniseries. Weirdly enough. It also kind of reveals the Cylons didn't have a plan, which is not good. William Husker Adama's Viper from the Cylon War would become the main Viper flown by hotshot pilot of Battlestar Galactica, Kara Starbuck Thrace. So that's it for this week's Geek Crash Course. It's really a primer, like I said, on Blood and Chrome. If you want a more specific episode on Battlestar Galactica, on Caprica, Heck, the classic Battlestar, where can they find us? You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or at our website, geekcrashcourse.com. That's it for this week, and we'll see you next time on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. Michael, I've been in your head the whole time. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> they look like big chrome toasters. <laughs> <laughs>